Hey, what's up guys, Rick here. Today we are going to be transplanting to tomatoes. Uh, we're going to be moving them to bigger pots or cups in this case here. So uh, these are my tomatoes. I have 24 of them. As you can see, some of them got pretty leggy and that was actually to be expected. Uh, the lights I have in my grow room aren't the strongest but tomatoes are actually okay because I normally transplant them twice and I always bury them almost back up to to the original point there so and the roots end up getting really really strong so that's why my tomatoes do really good uh, regardless if they're leggy or not so I got a few other things in here uh, peppers still haven't showed up yet but that's uh, normal for peppers this is wild dagger so I don't know if I'm supposed to take that down to one plant or not. So I'm going to read on that one and see. And everything else is showing up. Rue. This is rue. Uh, chamomile. So it's doing good. Marjoram is doing exceptional well. Mugwort is it's straggling along, but there's a few in there. And then these last two are the toothache plant. <laughs> the infamous toothache plant. So, Okay, guys. What I do is I just get some regular I like to use the clear cups because I can actually see through them versus the solo cups or the colored cups so and I will uh, drill some holes at the bottom of this and fill up with my new <laughs> well not new it's a couple videos back uh, Jiffy Peat Mix so I'll fill those up into the cups and then I will be burying the plant all the way, almost to the very tip, tip of the uh, the uh, the true leaves there. So, but first things first, I like using a drill versus uh, individually poking holes because I can do four or five cups at a time. So let me put the camera down, and we'll get this. Uh, start drilling and get these holes done. So I have 24 to do versus 48 from last year. All right. is typically enough and I just run them through the drill hopefully that's in, in focus and I did four cups that time looked like I could do a whole lot more though so we'll try six cups three six cups this time Yep, that worked out perfectly. So holes there. That's the bottom cup. So we may have holes there as well. Okay, what is that? Ten. Have three, six. Alright, 25 cups done. I only need 24, but um, I bought a pack of 50. So um, I'll just keep an extra cup because I'll end up transplanting something else anyway. So, okay, at this point, we are going to grab the soil and start putting it in the cups. I think I'll do one plant at a time. 
I pull the plant out and put it in the cup while I'm mixing that. And then that's the tray that I'll uh, fill up and put it back into the grill room. I find it a lot easier just to grab like a five gallon bucket or some kind of a container, dump your seed mix off into it. And you can just scoop, scoop from the scoop with it instead of sitting there trying to pour every individual uh, cup at that point. So, all right, break that up a little bit. Now, what I'm going to do is put a little bit at the bottom of the cup, about that much there. And then I'll put the uh, tomato plant right on top. So I guess I probably should have pulled them out first. So these are on the end here. <clears throat> That's a Chadwick cherry tomato. So I try to take everything that I had in, in it with it. <clears throat> try to. All right. So. That's the tomato itself, so a little bit of roots going on there. So what I want to do is put that in and start filling it all the way to the top. And I'm going to hold this part, I'm going to hold just below the leaves with two fingers. I mean, you got to be real delicate, so I'd say I can add a little bit more soil into that one. Okay, and from that point, I will fill and try to keep it straight and in the middle as much as possible. Alright. Alright, tap it on down a little bit. Okay. And that's what we have right there. So it's uh, filled pretty much, uh, I could go a little bit higher, I might, um, but I'm gonna end up doing all 24 um, tomatoes just like this, and then I'll put it in on the, uh, in my tray over here. So let me do that, and we'll be back with the video as soon as everything is done. All right, guys, uh, after about 40 minutes or so, everything is transferred and in their own individual cups. So black vernissage here, yellow fire in the middle, and Chadwick cherry tomatoes on the end there. And then I have the uh, Creole originals. So all these seeds came from uh, Baker Creek and this one to get its own tray downstairs and then I will take this one on back down as well and let the peppers do their thing and uh, hopefully in about oh I say a month's time for the uh, the uh, herbs I should be able to start hardening those off there so but as for now get these guys downstairs get them watered I'm gonna sp uh, spray the tops and then I'll bottom water these so Let's get them on downstairs. All right, here we are back in the grow room. Everybody is put into place. So I got to get these guys watered down. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray. Get these, uh, get the top moist and where to soak down. And then I will bottom water from that point. and let it absorb all the way on up there so hopefully everybody survives i had a drop on two of them and i think they were these creole ones so i'm not sure if somebody broke or not because i did have to scoop some dirt back in or some soil excuse me not dirt <laughs> excuse the uh, scoop some potting mix back up in there 
So we shall see, but I um, have 24, 24 of them here. Sorry, switching hands. And I was gonna plant uh, 12 of them, three, six, yeah, 12 of them. And then the remainders are going over to my father's house. What, whatever survives there, or whatever survives out of these here. So I'm used to growing a lot of tomatoes, but so many of them went to waste last year. Uh, I mean, even the ones, I mean, I could only give away so many. So I didn't want to, besides I wanted to try a bunch of new things in my garden this year as well. So, and no, I got a few cool surprises that'll be coming up in uh, some future videos, some stuff I've never grew before. And it's actually down on this bottom shelf. Uh, trying to give a peek. Uh, it's down there. <laughs> so, um, so let me go ahead and get this stuff watered. And, uh, that, but that's it for uh, transplanting tomatoes. So uh, it's, it's fairly common for these particular zones. Actually, I think it's for everybody. Uh, they'll start their tomatoes indoors and then transplant them outside. But I know down in the uh, uh, higher zone, zone 10, 11, probably around Miami and the tropicals, they can actually just plant them outside. But up here in zone 6A, not happening. So, all right, guys, that is this video. And I have a few other things in the works, so hopefully we'll start getting the videos rolling on and out a lot quicker as well. So, all right, we'll see you later. Bye.